week's chapter of One Piece, the kingdom of Dressrosa is saved. King Riku is going to take his place as king again. And apparently we learn you can fuck with the Jesus. Dressrosa is saved and King Riku ends up taking the lead again. But it isn't without some convincing. And also we get to see the Marines bow down and admit that they were wrong. Yeah. Yeah. So in this week's uh, chapter of One Piece, I really liked the intro which had uh, Jesus Burgess and uh, uh, Sabo finishing up their fight. And to, I was actually surprised. I thought that fight was going to be even for some reason. Mm -hmm. Maybe I misunderstood. But at the same time, Sabo's really like a main character, even though he kind of just got introduced or reintroduced. And uh, Jesus is like not really a main character. He's more like a side pirate mm -hmm. on the Blackbeard Pirate. So, you know, I guess I should have known that. Uh, but how do you tell how strong anyone is in this series? You know? It's almost impossible. There aren't, like, power levels or anything yeah, in this not, series. Oh, no one's over 9,000 or any mm -hmm. of that shit. It's just uh, rock, paper, scissors almost. But, yeah, he looks like he's about to stab Sabo, and then Sabo's like, you know, you don't talk shit about my dead brother, and then he just blasts him with fire, and that's it. And wouldn't that have been bullshit if he got stabbed by a knife and he lost? It would have been, and it probably wouldn't have happened anyway. I mean, because, I mean, just the fact that he's a Logia fire type, like, that type of a weapon right probably him. wouldn't have been able to well, do anything. Well, you could, like, infuse it with hockey. That's true. In fact, it almost seemed like Jesus Burgess's sword, like it was like a special type of weapon. I think he even called it like something else, but it had like a special design to it. Maybe it would have been something that could have hurt him, maybe but we don't know. That's because how you suck de devil fruit powers. Maybe it's That's like, possible. Maybe. Like maybe there's a sword that you stab someone with, it absorbs the power and you take the blade and then you stab it into you and then it's all weird and yeah, crazy. I, mean, I don't know. That gets really dark for One Piece. I don't think that's <laughs> the, the direction that it's going. But otherwise, um, it was really shocking because... You know, even though Jesus Burgess is kind of like a side character, he's not really all that powerful, I was expecting a little bit more from him. It was a shame that throughout or, this entire arc, he's just been getting batted around by Sabo. The fight started, and then come back. The fight's over. I was mm -hmm. kind of wanted to see it. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the one of the only disappointments I have with this chapter. Uh, we also see all the executives are arrested. They're mm -hmm. all like wrapped in sea stone. I would assume. Yeah. And, and uh, that includes Doflamingo. Yes. I am still shocked. That Doflamingo's defeated. Yeah. It's like, like, it's just like, wow, well, it's, it's still sinking in. It's like, there he is, on the ground. His ass is beat to a bloody pulp, and that's it. Like, that's, that's it. the end of Doflamingo. Well, as soon as his glasses came off, that was symbolic, mm -hmm. I think, to his defeat. And mm -hmm. we even called that. I'm not trying to, like, pat ourselves on the back, but we were pretty much like, when his glasses come off, that's probably it. Yeah. And, his and they refused to show his face. No, it's like, it's always in shade, and his head's mm -hmm. back, and, yeah. you know... Uh, I God, I hope he doesn't have googly eyes or some stupid shit like you. <laughs> I think that would be funny. They're always going all over the freaking place and stuff. <laughs> Literal Google eyes, like Muppet eyes. Oh my God, um, I hope not. But are there some things about this chapter? Uh, the whole Fujitora scene with all the Marines and prostrating yep. himself and bowing down to the citizens of Dressrosa and King Riku, that really paints him in a completely new light, and I respect that character so much more now. Fujitora has become one of my favorite admirals uh, just from his actions in this arc alone because at first he started out real mysterious, then he was just a bloody enforcer, then he fought Sabo, and then suddenly he's working with everyone. He's a character who's gone through a lot of ups and downs and roller coasters in terms of development, and I think that's what makes him a really cool character. And I can't wait to see his actions after this arc. Yeah, and I think the other thing is he was always a good guy. Mm -hmm. He just didn't have the option to do good things. And mm -hmm. I think the Straw Hats put him in a position to actually start helping. I mean, even by the end, he was pushing on the birdcage next to Zoro, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, you know, that character is now probably going to get some shit by the world government. But at the same time, you know, uh, Doflamingo was defeated, and I think that actually gave him the room to actually do something. Mm -hmm. Even though, in a lot of ways, it's kind of fucking in hindsight. Why weren't you leading the charge against Doflamingo if you mm -hmm. really feel this way? Mm -hmm. But that would have made it a little more boring, because this is, you know, One Piece story. Yeah, we don't, we don't need too much politics in the world of One Piece. That's something that they've avoided quite a bit, and I think that's a very smart decision. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we'll get a little bit of, uh, you know, Fujitora maybe getting chewed out by his uh, superiors about some of the actions that he took. But uh, I can't see it coming. <laughs> that's funny. That's just that's mean. It's a blind joke. Uh, yeah. The whole rest of the chapter was just everybody like begging King Riku to be the uh, the king of Dressrosa again. All the uh, neighboring like countries and uh, islands are now realizing that shit has gone down in Dressrosa. Uh, king Riku's getting tons of calls on his snail phones, so he's got a lot of people to talk to, a kingdom to rebuild. And I love the citizens, how incredibly humble they are, how just the fact they're like, we don't want to be a rich kingdom. We don't want to be prosperous. We just want you to be king, and we want to be happy. That's all they want. That's all they've ever wanted, but the problem is they've been subjugated 
subjugated by Doflamingo over a course of like a decade. So this is just an amazing triumphant moment for Dressrosa. And I know it's not what everybody wants. I know there's a lot of just like, you know, random characters in the background, you know, the stuff that we've seen before. But these type of moments are really important for the end of a One Piece arc. It doesn't make it seem as abrupt because we just got done reviewing Naruto Gaiden, which in its own right, is a mini-series. You know, it's yes. got a beginning and an end that's going to be short, and it just wrapped up its finale really, really quick. Ten Whereas chapters. the finale of the Dressrosa arc, you know, this is like the second one We're gonna get after the defeat. chapters of them fucking partying. I don't think they're going <laughs> to party as much, and the only reason is just because Luffy's going to be like, where is Sanji? Where is Nami? Where's Chopper? They have got to go find them. Maybe we'll go off into a completely different direction. Maybe we'll get some stuff with Sabo, which I think would be a really good idea. We need some more Sabo backstory. Although, fans of the anime version do need to realize this August there is going to be a, an hour and a half Sabo special, which is going to be a lot of material that we haven't seen before, so maybe that's I'm another really excited about you that. know excuse to check that out. I think that's going to be really cool. What I will say is this chapter surprised me, mostly for the Jesus Burgess stuff and all the stuff with Fujitora, which I thought was great. Well, that's, those are two of the main, besides the executives getting arrested, that's mm -hmm. pretty much the two main things happening in this yeah. in this week's chapter. Uh, I'm just, I'm excited to see how this really wraps up. And I say that because this isn't wrapped up yet, you know? Like, we haven't got to the Straw Hats. Mm -hmm. We haven't got back to Sanji and Big Mom. I think we might go there, and Sanji's like now, like, obviously he would never betray the uh, uh, Straw Hat Pirates, but he's now like working in the kitchen, you know? Mm -hmm. Keeping Big Mom happy or something <laughs> like that. He'd have know? to cook a lot for Big Mom. I know, exactly. That's a huge bitch. But anyway, the, the the main point is that there's a lot of places to go, but at the same time, I feel like this could go on. They could kind of come to this arc coming to a close in the next, like, two chapters. Mm, I and then, and then pick a direction. Mm. Uh, so I'm excited to see that. And I hate wrap-up stuff most of the time, mm -hmm. but, like, this is good. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm enjoying Especially, it. Especially, like I said, Jesus Burgess is what really made it, because he just came out of nowhere. He was all pissed off. I honestly thought this was going to be, like, a big twist. I thought, like, suddenly... The uh, Blackbeard Pirates were just going to pop up out of nowhere and be like, yeah! <laughs> like, this is our plan the whole time. And, uh, you know, that would have been even more shocking, like, if they'd have just tried to kill Sabo. Although, it's way too early for something that tragic to even happen to a character like that. And I honestly think Sabo's going to be just fine. I think he's going to make it out of all of these big, sticky situations. I don't think they want to do a repeat of what they did with Ace. And, arguably, Sabo has had more characterization in many ways than Ace had. It's sort of like... The author's like, and I know I'm like, I'm totally like pissing just people off when I say that. I completely agree with you, man. Like, yeah. Like, Sabo is Ace 2.0. Yeah, you know? and, and what I love about it, too, is because, and I mean this in the nicest way possible, Ace is a character they didn't really get to develop that much. Like, we saw him, we saw that he was cool, he was captured, and he was killed. With Sabo, it's kind of like their opportunity to sort of like... You know, recharacterize yeah. Ace, like to sort of like bring that back into the fold. Because since they were so close, since they were brothers, you know, Sabo basically is, like you said, he, he's like Ace 2.0. Yeah, and they're kind of almost like all clones of each other because they mm -hmm. all grew up together and did the same things mm -hmm. and had the same upbringing. Yeah, you know, they had tensions between each other and would argue. But I actually think Ace was the most different from like Lucy, Luffy and uh, Way Sabo. different. Maybe yeah. maybe it's because we didn't get to see him as much. Yeah, because we didn't. You know, know that, yeah, we got the early arcs, but mm -hmm. that, that their childhood arcs. But I you just know? don't think that that uh, was them as adults with full powers and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So... It's interesting. Uh, uh, I really want to see a lot about Sabo, but like you said, that special's coming, and I think that's going to be our real moment to see him mm -hmm. coming up with uh, uh, the Revolutionary Army yeah. and watching him develop his powers. And if it's anything like last year's One Piece 3D 2Y special, it's going to look good. It's going to oh, look damn near look like movie quality, which I think is going to be fantastic. And I want to learn a little bit more about the Revolutionaries, who, you know, they also showed up in this week's chapter. You know, you had a Hack the Fishman, you had a few other members of their group who obviously have big plans with the list of weapons that they found in Dress Rosa. Are the revolutionaries just going to show up out of nowhere? Do you think they could possibly pop up? There's so many possibilities for how this arc can end and it can start the next one, which honestly makes this one of the most exciting endings to an arc that I've ever seen. I will be disappointed if Sabo and Luffy don't talk a little bit before he leaves. He they better have not to. just they... fucking get on a boat and leave, because that is not the way it should end. I mean, they're brothers, man. Yeah. They're going to hug. <laughs> how many references can we throw in this review? I don't know. We're trying. We're trying to shove them all in there. But yeah, I really enjoyed this. I'm giving it... I'm going to give another four out of five. 
I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5 as well. Um, just I was completely satisfied by it, especially all the stuff with Jesus Burgess, who's an amazingly fun character. And I can't wait to see where they're going from here. Yeah. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Uh, use our Amazon link. Donate through PayPal if mm -hmm. you feel so. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And stay dandy, baby.